Most people in America are familiar with what a stalker is. I have had a marvelous stalker for some time in my life. Actually, it has stalked themselves across the state line, making everything that I'm experiencing a federal offense. Now, let's talk about the difference between a stalker and someone who's simply just trying to repair a relationship that's gone bad. A stalker is someone that is physically touching your life, actually physically going after your body, physically assaulting you, committing sexual assault, molestations, and in my case, mutilation. The trimming of my beard is a form of mutilation. It is a federal offense because I grew my beard for my faith. I also grew my beard for my manhood, and no one has a right to tell me what I can and can't do with my own body. That much is true. Outside of that, I have grown many other parts of the hair on my body for me. The people who have disrobed me, disclothed me, and literally put tainting in my food or in my beverage to do that have committed a sexual offense, a sexual assault, because secondary sex characteristics don't belong to you people. They belong to me. As we, get, as we work our way down the body, I'm going to tell you that the little T you formed on me with your fancy little shears or trimming scissors is inappropriate. At no time does anyone in America have the right to take someone's clothes off in a jail cell or otherwise to take a look at their genitalia. And at this point in time, motherfucker, God is going to kill your entire family, eradicate your entire village with COVID. Congratulations. Did you not hear me in that cell giving the predictions of the illness that was coming? And then lo and behold, we have Bastard Bob out on the streets who told me first about COVID. I didn't exactly remember that prediction, but God has brought it to my attention. And what I'm telling you is when you have a minority report man, you don't play with him in front of God.